Beruchim Habayim, Moshe Lanyaro here, speaking under the auspices of Kolel Avat Yisrael and Sharetzion here in Brooklyn, New York. My friends, we are going to celebrate the holiday of Shavuot. This is coming Sunday, starting Motzei Shabbat and Monday. The appellation given to this holiday in our prayers is Man Matan Torah Tenu. The time which we receive the Torah. It is a holiday celebrating receiving of the Torah. A joy. When we celebrate it, we Sephardic Jews have an ancient custom to read all the 613 mitzvot. But not in a dry manner, but through song and poetry. Yes. On Shavuot, we have a book called Asharot, written by one of the great poets, Ebed Gabriel. He wrote the 613 mitzvot in a poetic tone, and we read it and sing it in our homes with our children. What is the foundation of this? great custom. Our Torah is not only dry laws, but we look at each law as a simcha, bringing joy to our heart, bringing happiness to our lives. The Torah is ki hem chayenu v'orichamenu u'bahem negeyu v'ambalala. The Torah is our life. And we will study it to enhance our time on this earth. My friends, a Western man cannot understand the love relation between Klal Yisrael and their Holy Torah. You'll go into a synagogue and people who are very far from what we consider practicing Jews, but when the Torah comes out of the Aron, the bustle, to get close to the Torah, to give it a kiss, to touch it, is fabulous. Because deep in the recesses of every Jew's heart, they realize that the Torah is such a beautiful gift that God gave us. And in truth, when Moses went up to heaven, the Gemara tells us, the angels complained to God, God Almighty, what is this man born of woman in our realm? They were asking, how is a physical man visiting in the totally spiritual realm? And God answers, he has come to receive a great gift. And what was that gift? The gift of the Torah. And the angels in amazement said, God, the Torah has been your precious treasure 974 generations prior to the creation of the, world, of the world. And you are going to give it to man? That physical flirting personality? And yes, God gave us that great gift. And on Shavuot, we celebrate. And we're joyous. Maybe not the same way as we celebrate on Simchat Torah with boisterous laughing and dancing. But still, we celebrate with song and joy. We go and we study Torah all night to show our tremendous love for the Torah. When a book of Torah falls on the ground, it's second nature to a Jew to pick it up and to kiss it. Can we imagine one of the Supreme Court justices, be it Justice Kagan, Justice Thomas, Justice Breyers, when their law book falls on the ground, do they even have a thought of kissing it? Do these justices who have studied 
the Constitution have any inkling of dancing with it and singing with it as we do on Simchat Torah? Do they have an inkling to restudy it daily, daily, every day as our great scholars do? And each moment of study brings them a tremendous spiritual happiness. That's our Torah. That is what we celebrate on Shavuot, this coming Sunday and this coming Monday. We'll start off with learning Torah all night long, followed by the Shachrit service, which has the reading of the Ten Commandments. The Aftarah will tell us about the great vision of Yechazkel, the Merkava, the Holy Chariot. We should go home afterwards with our meal. Some will have a dairy meal. Some will have dairy with meat at different times. We should read as Harot, the 613 mitzvot, the negative and the positive. The first day we'll do the positive, the second day the negative. We'll read Megillat Ruth, the custom of the Sfadim is to read at home with the family, that beautiful book, the story of the grandmother, great-grandmother of David HaMelech. We also read Tehilim. Those are some of the customs which we observe on this holy day of Shavuot. May we enjoy them and follow them with much joy. And may this holiday be a harbinger for the Biyat HaMashiach who is from Zera David. As we say, David Melech Yisrael Chai Bekayam. May the Mashiach be able to fulfill that prophecy. And we all join together to see the total redemption of mankind. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.